So today in Stormworks, we're going to be torturing the Titanic and a bunch of different disasters. And folks, you definitely want to stay tuned because a bunch of weird stuff happens. Plus, at the end of the episode, we actually test being in a boat beside a volcano when it erupts. And it was absolutely incredible. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. All right, there she is. The glorious Titanic, a one-to-one -one scale. Uh, we've actually checked out the ship before. Uh, it is by JP Ships. But you know what? I wanted to test it out against the meteorites. I had a lot of comments saying, Komodo, uh, test out a big ship. And I'm like, well, this is probably one of the biggest ships in the game. So this is plan A of the video. Plan A is hit the Titanic with a meteorite and everything else. I'm pretty sure plan A is going to crash the game. So I do have a plan B. So stay tuned. But we're going to probably just torture this ship. Uh, if a meteorite hits this ship, Where's the safe place to stand? Oh boy, this is gonna be absolutely intense. All right, well, we'll call in just one meteor strike to uh, begin with, and then we can always go crazy with it. Look to the sky. Um, are we gonna die? Where are they at? Wait, what? Oh no. Oh, that's bad. They're coming right down towards the ship. Okay. Uh, just, oh, that one's heading right for us. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, <laughs> uh-oh. Uh, is the Titanic flying right now? What is happening? Uh, did the game crash? No, it hasn't crashed. Hold on, get into the, the wheelhouse. What just... Oh, okay. That is a massive... Su Wait a minute. It split the Titanic in half. It totally just blew it off the back end. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, what? So this is one kind of annoying thing about meteorites. Sometimes it makes portions or the whole creation disappear i don't know if that's what happened or we really just lost the back of the ship there's no damage what is happening right now uh you know we're kind of perfectly riding the tsunami like we seem perfectly balanced on it what is happening wait look at us look what we can do <laughs> this is the dumbest thing i've ever seen okay i can't turn the ship to get off this ride there's no back section um, this is fine. All right, more meteorites. Oh, they're coming from this direction now. And that direction. And that direction. Okay, time to duck. Uh, oh, let's see if we can see the outside. Oh, no, oh, it just blew off the top of the ship. Oh, no. Oh, they're hitting every... Oh, okay, that just killed us. So, I think sinking survival isn't really sinking survival with the... Oh, jeez. Uh, oh... It looks like an atomic bomb just went off. Also, it is shaking a lot. Can we, can we stop? Uh, so let's no clip over there. We don't, yeah, there's nothing left. What the heck? So yeah, that is probably the disappointing thing about meteorites. Like, I guess maybe at some point it was causing some crashes and uh, I guess the solution was to make the creation disappear. I was kind of hoping to watch the creation explode and catch on fire, but I mean, we did it and the game didn't crash. So I'm going to call that like half a success. So yeah, plan B really was to grab another ship and to hit it with the meteorite, but obviously it's going to disappear. So you're telling me we should probably continue with the Titanic and just test it out against more stuff. I think that might be a good idea. Okay, we are back once again. So, what else can we throw at the Titanic? Obviously, the meteorites are just overpowered. So, we need to attempt something else. I don't think that a whirlpool would take it out, but I could be uh, wrong about that. Also, let's spawn in a tornado here. Uh, we might want to kill the... What the... What's happening right now? Wait. Are we getting pushed? What the? Holy man! Okay, the tornado just spawned right on top of us. Okay, so that has a much bigger effect than I thought it would. Ah, uh, the tornado sucking us up. Oh, it's gonna throw us into the dock. Uh, uh oh. Uh, oil rig base, here we come. Hold on. Is it gonna pick it up? Oh, it's attempting to. Uh, stuff's exploding. That might just be our motors because they're over revving. Uh oh. Uh, that thing is totally doing damage right now. That's cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, oh, I went off this ride. Um, oh, the water's coming. 
Okay, this was far more impressive than this the uh, meteorites. Uh, we're getting carried with this right now. So, is it enough to sink it? Oh, it's moving up. Okay. Oh! Oh! I thought I was going to pick it up there. Oh, dear. All right, we're coming back. Okay. Uh, the lights are flickering now. I'm pretty sure we're doing more damage. Uh, wait, what's the inside look like? Yeah, like the bottoms. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's pretty intense looking. Yeah, it's doing a number on it. Look at the damage. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, I think the tornado definitely does damage. Like, at first I thought maybe it was the engine and the fire doing all the damage to the side, but how did we get damage on the stacks there? Like, the funnels have damage. The top of it has damage. I definitely think it's enough to probably sink the ship. Like, look at all the damage on the bottom. Of course, there's the doors for the sink button, but we're not going to actually hit that. Oh, dear. Okay, can we try to balance on this? Is this a bad idea? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, go back. Go back that way. Go back that way. Okay. Oh, don't get sucked up by the tornado. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this is bad. Uh, okay, letting go of the helm was definitely not my brightest idea. Oh. Okay, we're going to get sucked up in the tornado. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on to something. Wait, do these have uh, seats in them? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, we just got yeeted. Oh, no, it's coming this way. Okay, jump, jump, jump. Wait, what's that sound? <laughs> oh. Oh, this is not pleasant. What are we uh what are we supposed to do about this? The tornado is dying out, I think. Uh holy man. Okay, well the Titanic survived. What is flinging around? What? What is that? Hold on, maybe it's not the tornado doing damage. Something was flying around during that whole uh, sequence. It's torn up, and I'm pretty sure it's leaky water, and it is on fire, but she still floats. I don't know how long she's going to float. Hold on, let's check the compartments. Are we taking on water? You know, surprisingly, there's none in any of these. Hold on, this one might be filling up. Uh, there's the... Okay, go down here. There's fire. There's the engines. Well, most of the engines are burned up. You got a couple good ones still. Yeah, I don't think she's actually taken on water. I don't see any anywheres. Either that or the no clips broken. Hold on. No! <laughs> she's just... Wait, no, she's totally sinking. It might take it a long time, but it held up like a champion. What do you say we do a whirlpool to it now? <laughs> oh, would you look at that? The whirlpool actually formed right on us. Uh-oh. Hold on, is it pulling? It? Oh, it's definitely shifting it. So if I set still, I'm not moving the camera. That is us getting pulled in by the whirlpool. Okay. Uh, oh, what's that noise? It sounds like something's like, uh, almost like despawning itself or clipping itself off. I'm kind of curious. Like eventually maybe the connectors holding the ship together might actually get destroyed and it might just like completely separate it. It'd be cool. Uh oh. Okay, Titanic versus the whirlpool. Oh, this is a big boy. Oh. This is much bigger than the other ones. Uh, okay. We might be screwed here. Holy man. Okay. What is happening? Uh, how deep is this? This might actually swallow up the whole ship. Uh, okay. It's swirling around. It's so weird because it's not really... Oh, we're drowning. Uh, that's not good. Okay. It's not really making a lot of noise. Uh, no, we got to do a better job at getting up. Uh, uh oh. Hold on. We got to come up. Wait, what? Where'd it go? Hold on. Look down. Okay, it's just getting swirled around. It's like a giant toilet. Uh, what does that sound? Oh, whatever's happening there. I hope that's not vital to keeping the ship together. Okay, the lights are flickering. It's like we're having a party here. Uh, we're swirling, but it's not taking it all the way down. So I think we're actually okay. I mean, this might be the toughest ship. Let's not even count the meteorites, though. Like I said, those are just OP, but... We are uh, swirling around right now, and we're actually okay. You know, I sometimes wonder if my editor is, like, confused by what I do. Like, what do you think you're going to do today, Mr. Editor? Do you think you were going to watch me do something horrific to the Titanic? Uh, go ahead, uh, answer. Do a speaking spell or something. Or just, you know, put a picture on the screen, uh, your thoughts on this whole situation. I expect nothing, and I'm still let down. So there's a chance this is getting a little bit bigger, and... Oh, it's still swirling around. Okay. Uh, can I do something else on top of this? Am I allowed to do a tornado? Oh, we could spawn a tornado at the same time. And you know what? 
let's have a volcanic eruption, even though I don't think there's a volcano around us. Wait, where's the tornado at? Are we spinning or is it the cloud spinning? I can't really tell at the moment. Oh, there's our tornado. Is it coming this way? Yeah, we're not going down. I think we've officially found something that the whirlpool cannot take down. Also, by the way, I didn't spawn that in. That just showed up. <laughs> there is a Megalodon that is now stuck in the whirlpool with me. Yeah, good luck, buddy. Uh, the fish have physics now. Uh, at least most fish. Maybe the Megalodons don't. I'm not really sure. What are we near? Oh, that's the Megalodon. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, Megalodon is going to now hit the ship. Fine. Oh, wait, what? Did he just go through it? That means there are ghost sharks <laughs> and they will haunt your life. Okay, let's fire it back up, please. Uh, wait, what? Does it really run? Come on. Throttle up, please. Uh, uh oh. That, uh, that tornado is coming this way. Our water spout. Uh, come on. Fire up. We might want to get out of here. No, I think definitely we've managed to break this. Uh, but we survived everything, basically. How is this, like, this unsinkable? You're telling me we could do all this and then it actually got taken down by an iceberg in real life? Uh, what do you say we finish this bad boy off? Oh, that's totally coming this way. Oh, are we gonna do this again? Yeah, that moment when the, uh, the tornado was trolling us, it was coming this way and it's just now turned. Oh, you know what? Let's watch this from a distance. Here it comes. Oh, the, the, oh, there it goes. Yep, I was watching the Megalodon spin out of control. Uh, that is epic looking. Oh, uh-oh. It hit the other portion. Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay. Oh, it's so bright. I don't know what's happening right now. Uh, can we stand over here and just watch? Yep. We're oh, that's a big wave. Um, you know, at one point, half the ship will still... Wait. Hold on. There's still peace down there. Look. The very top of the ship made it. Yay. I mean, it's sinking. Oh, boy. Well, part of me is a little bit disappointed about the whole fact that we can't do a proper sinking ship survival with meteorites, but a part of me is really impressed by the uh, how the Titanic's able to hold up against certain things. Uh, yeah, bravo, Titanic. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do, we're actually going to experience uh, one of the volcano eruptions uh, from the water, and a lot of people were saying they wanted to see this. Now... We couldn't stuff the Titanic close enough for it to affect it. But a lot of people were saying the ash and stuff, if you're close enough, which obviously if you're outside, it'll kill you. I'm kind of curious if you're in a sealed vehicle like this, what is actually going to happen here? Uh, so this will be a good experiment. And as you can see, the volcano looks pretty ready to erupt. Do we think we're close enough? I feel like we are. Uh, here, let's at least get alongside. That way we can see it erupt. Yeah, okay, doors are sealed. Let's see if we survive being this close to the volcano as it goes off. I'm pretty excited. Okay, oh, buddy. Okay, the uh, water's shaking. Uh, everything's shaking. This is fine. Wait for it to erupt. There it goes. Okay, here comes the shockwave. Okay, shockwave. We weren't close enough to get moved by it. Uh, which, by the way, me and Spy Cakes were actually on top of a volcano the other day. And it flung the vehicles off. It was quite amazing. Okay, waiting for the big ash cloud to come. Uh, I could see... Oh, wow! You could see the uh, the rocks spewing out of it. Oh, wait, here it comes. You can see it. Here comes the shadow. Oh, man, I don't think we've ever seen it quite like this. Uh, oh, dear. Are we going to survive inside of this? Here it comes over the water. Oh, buddy. Okay, and... Oh, here it comes. Oh, oh, what the heck? This does damage? Uh, all the systems are malfunctioning right now. Uh, wow. Wait, we might be okay. Hold on, wait for it to clear up. Are we underwater? Uh, no, we're not, but it looks like the apocalypse outside. Hold on. Okay, we are definitely taking on water hunt. Get up the uh, firefighting equipment on. Can we exit? What the heck? Look at the amount of damage. That was actually really cool. Uh, thank you for the uh, viewers that suggested that. Wow, I didn't expect that to do so much damage. Man, if only the meteorites would do something like this. Like when you hit them, it actually like the vehicle wouldn't just disappear and you'd have damage and fire. That was cool. 
I must say, that was quite impressive. That kind of makes me want to see like a, a base at the volcano, like a bunker or something. I feel like that would be epic. Oh, this thing is definitely sinking. Well, anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.